Cranny girl, hot girl no mix with no cranny girl. Her thing no look good, man a la. Cranny girl can't afford roll and she smell like hospital. How are the some girl? Hey guys, it's your girl Beautiful Rebel and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys may know, if you probably watched the first or second video, because I don't know what number of video this is going to be. My birthday is coming up March 16th and I dedicated my channel into bringing you March mag Madness. Even though it's not that mad because I'm not going to be doing nothing crazy. But I feel like, you know what? I made my New Year's resolution. So let me get back on this YouTube game and do what I do. That's why you got... Hi guys, this is Rebel and the Bonnet from the future. I'm editing this video right now while I'm sitting here like, you know, eating, drinking, whatever. And I want to say this a thousand times more. Please excuse my appearance. I do look like my Instagram. I look like my picture, but pictures. But for some reason... When I come on camera, my face looks super fat. My double chin looks extra bigger than usual. And I'm I'm not feeling it. So, it's ain't no catfish. It's really me. It's, it's you know, a rough couple days. But, you know, as the, the video progresses during the days, you know, bad mm, coming up. But I had to push this content out for you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. I haven't seen any videos for February because I'm like, you know what? I'm a Pisces. Pisces sees, you know, everything ton up. And I already got my birthday planned every year as per usual. So let's see the contents leading up to my birthday. Right? Right. So that means it might be a vlog here and there, a little storage, how much I know y'all like, or review. So wish me a happy birthday when it comes. And, you know, by then... Y'all should know what time it is. I'm turning 28, 20, great. All in the blood clots. Yeah, real all. So I'm here today to review this hair company, aka Rosa Beauty Hair. Now, this hair was not sent to me. I decided to order the hair on my personal reference for my birthday. I have cheated on my vendor and decided to go with Rosa Beauty Hair for the first time. So before I even get into this wig, let's get down to the nitty gritty of how this bad boy even got here. For my birthday, I decided to go with Deep Wave. Now, if you know, then you know Deep Wave is the best vacation here to be in the water. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to get all black. I'm not going to get no colors because I originally wanted blonde or like a ginger. But black itself looks fire on me. looks very youthful, very beautiful, and all that good stuff. And disclaimer once again, don't mind my face. I just took a shower, did my face routine so y'all going to get a fresh face. All that, whether it bad or good, and I'm thankful for um, not having crazy acne and crazy, you know, dark spots. I have a few, but most people have it worse than me, and it is what it is. One of my hacks are I never usually order from um, a hair website's business page unless I have to. Now, for example, You Nice Hair was one of my first set of vendors I usually buy my hair from um I have two vendors on even before that even before you nice hair I used to buy Bazi or Biazi hair I'm gonna see if I could put it in the link below on um AliExpress and their hair is so good I love Peruvian hair never Brazilian I love a Peruvian hair Peruvian hair to me lasts the longest best quality you know so, and this is proof in fact, because I had hair for like two to three years. Anyways, um, I used to order from there, but they got really expensive. I am going to venture back over there, but they got way expensive. So, with you nice hair now, and any other hair vendors I usually go to, I never go to their personal website. I usually go to their AliExpress site. Now... I personally feel like when I order from the website itself, I don't get that good amount of hair that I'm looking for. There's a Unite store around the corner from my house, and even when I go in there, I feel like the hair is okay. But every time I would order on AliExpress straight from their AliExpress vendor, their vendor themselves, I get the best hair quality 
ever. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just me. Um, no other company has proven me otherwise. And yeah, my vendor itself that I have, I'm not going to disclose any names because I do feel like I would want to restart my hair business. But my vendor when it comes to blonde hair, fire. I haven't tried anything else. I've just tried the blonde hair. And to be honest, this was 613 um, then went from 613 toned to a light blonde, then dyed to a platinum blonde, then dyed again with the platinum to turn into like a dark gray. Then I took the color out, put it burgundy red, then took the red out back to blonde, and then turned it navy blue. I don't know if you guys can see the color. But it looks black in person unless when I hit the sun. So it's like a navy blue type of color like my shirt. It's like a black blue. So you see the hair was not stiff. This is my second time installing it. I had it on V-Day and I took it out to wash it and reinstall it. And use my bow hold. But yeah. So we're going to get into this video. Rosa Beauty, like I said, was not sponsoring this video. I bought this with my own coins. So let's get into it. I ordered... I ordered my hair on the 10th of February and it was scheduled to be shipped out the 21st. It did arrive the 21st on the Monday but I went to go get it myself. On the ad I clicked a 13 by 6 HD 28 inch for $221 and with tax it came to $240. 64 now I know what you're talking you know that's that's a hot commodity 30 a 28 inch only for $240 no! you cannot trick me you cannot trick me not to mention 13 by 6 28 inches deep wave 180 density with a HD frontal cool I'm like you know this is a steal I'm gonna do what I gotta do get my my dealings now they had 13 by 4 i believe 5 by 5 4 by 4 13 by 1 which is the t-part 13 by 6 i don't i have a hate and love relationship with 13 by 4s 13 by 4s middle parts are really small but their side parts when doing a deep side part is wavy like it's beautiful it has a lot of space but with a 13 by 6 the part goes from right here in the peak of your um forehead all the way to back here but the sideburn parts are like legitly small like this. So it's a win-win situation, lose-lose situation. Now, something told me to write this vendor. I wrote this vendor asking for good hair. This is my first time. I was a little bit spectacle. They asked me, well, they told me, you know, everything's going to be good. We got you, dear, all this good stuff. But they later on said to me within that same night that they only have 13 by 4 for the 28 inch, 180 density. Now I knew something had to be funny because for 220, 240, that's a good price. Like don't get me wrong, a lot of my vendors, even my blonde hair vendor, is ranging from around that price for that length. But it's just like, it was a steal. And I've never used this hair before. I watch all the reviews and I'm like, okay, they got good hair. But I'm just like, you know what, let me let me test it for myself. So that is seriously a 13 by 4 type of pricing for real deal if I was supposed to get a 13 by 4. But this is a 13 by 6. Okay, cool. They promised me if I paid $3 more, I would get a 13 by 6, 180 density. I went ahead. I did just that. Cool. Everything was all good. Everything was all fine. Two days later... They came to inform me <laughs> that it will take extra days for the hair to be made in their factory when they already told me it was pre-made. So out of nowhere, you charge me an extra $3, which is nothing, for the hair, but do not send me what I want, plus giving me false advertisement. Okay, cool. So after going back and forth with them for a few days, I finally said, you know what? I'm going to agree to get a 13 by 4, 28 inch, 
and I'm gonna do a side part and I am going to finesse it. I'm like, it is what it is. I got this, I got the, the hands blessed from God. So I'm gonna do what I do. So they decided to send me a 13 by four, 28 inch, 180 density. Within 24 hours, well less than 24 hours, I had received my tracking number stating that the item was shipped out. It was legitly 13 days, well 11 days before I got my package. They tried to, you know how AliExpress has the six day processing thing? My thing is, I feel like they wanted to push out the six days because I changed the order on them to act like they didn't get it. But I digress. This is the package. It came in this FedEx bag. Um, pretty feeble. I don't know why. Okay, I got two FedEx labels. One from China. One from when it hit here. And we're going to see how this goes. First of all, by filling the bag, it's not in a box like how they would usually put the hair in the box for companies like Beauty Forever Hair, you nice, you know? So let's get into it. So this is how the hair, okay, so this is how the hair made it in the bag. Um, it's label is on it to show how to measure and the hair texture and stuff like that. So we're gonna see what it is already i'm pretty skeptical because it did not come in a silk bag <sighs> it didn't come in the box so i'm just like did i get low quality here moment of truth okay so first of all to me this is giving very much A 22 inch now it is curled I get it but this is giving very much 22 inch the hair also smell like it's dyed but looking into the hair itself I see that it is a 1b color so some of the wefts actually look like that color where you bleach your hair like that brassy tone kind of brown orange color and usually I never see that in a wig. So this makes me feel like this hair was dyed. Another thing to note, this is not HD lace at all. Um, the knots are small. I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys are not going to be able to see it. Okay. This is... I'm starting to feel like I'm getting a headache I'm starting to feel like I, I don't even know what to say to you right now because 13 by 4 this is this is not a 13 by 4 because the side part is only legitly probably like two centimeters tall and then the middle part is like more lace Ugh. Listen, um, I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm frustrated. Let me see how this feels. It doesn't feel bad. I got one strand. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel too bad. But really and truly, I'm going to have to finesse this wig. Like, this wig is not up to par at all. Um, to what I wanted. I don't know if it's because I'm so used to a 13 by 6 wig. But even if so. This 13 by 4 wig is not cutting it. The the insides alone are not 13 by 4. Like this right here. These side parts. No. They gotta go. I've gotten more lace than actual middle part. Like actual 13 by 4. I don't even know what to say because I'm so upset, guys. But I feel like once I bleach and pluck this, it will look cute. But this is not for every time wear. This is for, like, I'll throw this on if I got to go somewhere, like, to a party and stuff like that. But I'm going to have to get another wig. 
after my birthday because this I feel like is not gonna last me long. I should have brought a comb out here, but I don't know if you guys can see this once I parted with my fingers. Legitly, the part is like legitly like right here. Um, I am gonna finesse it. Um, uh, you know, thankfully I could do my own hair, but I am gonna finesse it. Um, with the community, with the community, with the customer service. With this wig, I give probably three out of five stars. Maybe, maybe two and a half, but three out of five stars. I'm going to be fair because the hair does feel good. I just feel like the advertising sucked, the customer service sucked, and I could tell this hair was dyed. Like, this is not a 1B. I don't know why I'm seeing all these brassy tones in it like I don't know stay tuned for my birthday um I will be finessing this let's pray I would have to bleach the knots um make up the hairline because this this is just trash and I'm have to really take my time on this hairline because by the time I do a one two pluck it's over with like that's it so yeah I wish I could put it on my head right now but I can't but yeah, I'm going to have to finesse this. I'm going to bleach the nuts, pluck it. I think I might dye this, watercolor dye this jet black. I don't know yet because sometimes color tends to run. But I'm going to see what I could do because I hate this bleach color that's in like being seen on the wig. I don't know if I could show you guys better than I could tell you. I don't know if it will show up on the camera. But yeah, it feels good though. But it's giving me more Remy than human hair. And the curls is giving me more kinky curly than deep wave. But we'll see. I'll finesse it. I will do a side part. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And when my birthday's here, tell me happy birthday. It's Pisces season, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye, guys. Cranny girl, hot girl no mix with no cranny girl Our thing no look good manala Cranny girl can't afford Roland She smell like hospital How are the